très bien. Putting on new numbers this morning. Before it gets hot and sunny. want to uh, squeegee them down in that short direction at least first keep you from getting wrinkles and things that fast whenever you're not in the, the hot hot sunny day you can look down at a steep angle and see if you've got any air bubbles and I'm actually in pretty good shape here we've got one little one tiniest little no that's actually just a drop of water so uh, yeah i'm perfect there good flat move on to the other side i'm going to drill out those rivets and salvage that or mount on this masthead here I'm gonna salvage that and use it on my Montgomery 17. I think I'm gonna clean that good, sand it a little bit, and uh, put some gel cut on that. That's just raw fiberglass. Get that uh, it's just riveted on, and then it's you know made for the masthead light to mount right there. Mixed up a. Just a quick ounce of uh, just an off-white gel coat, just something I already had mixed up. Put some wax in it and some hardener in it, and I'm going to just coat that thing to keep it from deteriorating in the sunlight so bad. That's a little mount. goes on the side of the mast for a anchor light. But, uh, you know, without any protection on it, the UV 
deteriorates that fiberglass pretty quick. So I'm gonna put a gel coat on it just to try to protect it some as much as anything. And there it is, coated with a little gel coat. I did put some on the back side too, just to protect it. I'm gonna mount that uh, and use that to hold my anchor light on that Montgomery 17. And I had somebody give me this little precision a sailor here this week. Um, it's a Precision 14, it's a 1980 something, 85 or 87 or something. They're nice enough little boats. Uh, he, I think he bought it in an auction or something, but he wanted to keep the trailer. He wanted the trailer, so he gave me the boat. So I had this uh, trailer here to uh, do something with. So I think I'm gonna put this little boat on this and uh, I've got the mast and the boom and the, the rudder. Uh, it, he didn't have any sails with it and he didn't have a dagger board, but I've got a dagger board from a, um, a Hobie Holder 14 that should work. So I'm gonna use that from a dagger board Got to clean it up a bit, do some varnishing on it. It's got something that's spilt on it, but it, I think it'll come off. Best I can tell, it would look like it would come off, so that's not going to be an issue, don't think. And you didn't have any sails, but I actually have some sails that'll work for it. They're not precision uh, 14 sails, but they're sails that fit and should work fine. So I think we'll be able to put it together and you know kind of come up with a little a little package that'll work. Uh, be fun in the summertime when it's hot and you want to get wet kind of thing. But these are nice enough little boats. I'll eventually come up with a better dagger board than that, but that's what I've got on hand right now that I can make work. Anyway, that's about what's happening this week. I haven't done a whole lot of boat work this week. But thanks for watching.